Hi, I'm Leslie. I am the Youth Employment Hub Coordinator, Interim Youth Crew Coordinator with the Spence Neighborhood Association. And can you tell us what Spence Neighborhood Association is? Sure. Spence Neighborhood Association is a nonprofit, volunteers, board of directors, and staff all working together to make the Spence community a better place to live, to work, to volunteer, and to just be a good neighbor. Uh, how so? What are some of your like, programs? Okay, the Spence Neighborhood Association has youth programs over at the Magnus Elias and Recreation Center. So we have the We Too Four program, which helps youth with meals and showers and a safe place to sleep. And then we have youth sports programming over there as well. We have evening youth programming for the youth. They go on outings, they have special events, special guests come in. And as always, meals are being distributed as well for all these youth. And over there we also have Building Belonging Children's program, which is for youth ages 6 to 12 during the summer and after school, during the school year. They come, they get a meal, and they do arts and crafts, field trips, oh my gosh, it goes on and on and on. So that's that building alone. We have several buildings. At our head office, we have the Environment and Open Spaces program, which looks after all of our green space in the Spence neighborhood. And at the moment, we have a brand new greenhouse, and in conjunction with them, we are working on a salsa project. That's why you see all these bottles here. Or to make a salad dressing for sale a very small social enterprise that we've been working on for a while. Okay, and over there we also have our housing department, Holistic Housing, which helps homeless people, adults, and youth as well. And what else is run from there? Oh, rental safety and environment and open spaces. I believe I said that already. So that's another department where there's a lot going on over there. And then we have a sports program at the UW Rec Center, Recplex Center. We also run a sports program out of there. And then we over here is strictly youth employment programs. We run two youth employment programs here. The first Jobs for Youth program, which is a structured summer, fall, spring program where the goal is to get them jobs with the city of Winnipeg as recreation technicians or other job entry placements for them. Okay, and over the years we've had over 50 of our youth hired on with the city of Winnipeg and hopefully they stay there as long as they want to and have a great career with the city. And then there's our youth crew program. So our youth crew program is for ages 12 to 29. So these youth do catering cooking, baking, and getting the food on time to their clients, yard care work, and newspaper deliveries. So that's our primary focus. We have clients from all over the city who order food from us, and repeat clients as well. Spence Neighborhood Association is our largest client who hires us for board meetings and other community events and committee meetings as well. So that's very exciting. We offer training to all of our youth participants, particularly in workplace safety and health, and rights of the young worker, those are the most important, so that they can go on to be successful in any employment field that they want to go into. Uh, yeah. Uh, a bit of a digression, but uh, you mind just saying how, talking a bit about how you got involved with the I got involved. Spence oh Association? Sure. Uh, I was a student at Red River College taking community development slash community economic development and a placement came up with the Spence Neighborhood Association working in the Skills Bank which is an adult employment program and that was way back 15 years ago. So through college I got a placement with Spence, I started helping out with the Skills Bank, started trying to connect adults with employment. And before my placement was up, I was offered a job at the Skills Bank when I was finished school. So when I finished college, I came 
to work with Spence when the first Jobs for Youth program coordinator position came up. I was asked if I would like that position. I interviewed for it and I jumped on it because that was always my goal to work with youth and get them a, help them get a good foundation for their employment success. Um, so running like uh, are there any like difficulties running like these youth employment programs that come up? Like any specific challenges or difficulties that get in the way? I would say no. I would say that our youth are focused when they come to work. They are well trained. They receive all the training they need to be successful. And they are respectful. And I, I honestly can't say we have any problems. Every once in a blue moon you have a blip where there's a, a situation. It's resolved as quickly as possible and then we move on. Our policies were written by youth for youth. So if any dispute does happen, which is extremely rare, we refer to the policy. And we take a look at that and read it through and then everyone remembers, oh yes, I forgot about that. Let's follow the policy. So with SNA's mandate, with SNA's vision, and protocols put into place, we follow those. We follow our own policies that were developed by youth. And honestly, I can't say there's really any challenges. I love all of it. Perhaps the hardest part for me, which is quite common, I imagine, is the funding. Just getting more and more money coming so that we can hire more and more youth and offer them more and more opportunities to make money. So, challenges with my youth? No. And are there any, like, are there any moment, is there a moment that, like, sticks out to you as, like, the, like, an exemplary uh, event that, pr like, is sort of the reason why you're here? Like, that yes. it... There are several moments. Um, I wish we had a bell I could ring. Because when a youth comes in to me and says, I got a job somewhere, whether it's with the city of Winnipeg or anywhere else where they went out there, got themselves an interview, got themselves hired, and comes and tells me that, that's like bell ringing at uh, time. You know, that's like the highlight of why we do this. Why uh, Aaron is the first Jobs for Youth coordinator who runs that program, and we both agree that's why we do it, so that we can hear from them. I got myself a job, all by myself, and we might have helped them along the way with resumes or references or mock interview practice or whatever, but they got up and got it themselves, and that is the highlight that we look forward to. Yeah. That is our measurement of success. Uh, yeah. Uh, you mind talking a bit about how Light has uh, supported Spence Neighborhood Association? Light has been with me since the beginning. In 2008, they were funding fall work experience placement. So you have to understand that in 2008, we did not really have a youth crew program. Okay? We had the first Jobs for Youth program primarily. So Light was able to support us with funding to pay for placements for those first jobs for youth after they graduated the summer. That's when we kick them out of the nest and they go work someplace else, like the University of Winnipeg or a Subway or a McDonald's or wherever they want to work. We hook up the connection and then we pay them to work there for a certain amount of time. So that's light support at that time. And then after a few years, they said to me, you know, yeah, we're kind of a little bit wanting to make a change in, in some direction. So I said, okay, I understand. Um, I've got this new program. And at the time it was called Odd Jobs for Youth, which is a really odd name. 
So anyways, so I'm like, I have this new program. We have zero money. It's basically taking our younger youth and helping them develop the skills so that their next step can be the first jobs for youth program. Okay, so they start here and then work their way up into the other program. And Light said, sounds awesome. We're going to help you with that. So Light started giving us some support on a yearly basis after applying f through the grants to help pay these youth to come in and work different jobs and build their skills and make some pocket money and help them on their road to success. Mm. And Light's been with me ever since. I've always said they're the light of my life. At times when funding has been lean, Light has always been there, hiring us to help at the Light Pancake Breakfast, hiring us to cater for the Light Pancake Breakfast, or to cater one of their board meetings, or making soups, or making cookies for their hampers, or coming up with some sort of product, giving us product assistance as well. Um, they've just always been there. They've been, if you ask me, 15 years, they've been in. Throughout my 15 years with the Spence Neighborhood Association, Light has been by my side as a supportive funder, listening to our program participants' needs and helping me meet those needs. Those needs are skills development, hands-on work experience, building our youth confidence, and helping them to build a strong foundation of tools that they need to be employable and confident. So long history with Light, and I don't know what I would do if, if Light were to tell me, look, Leslie, we've been supporting you for so many years, do you want to back out? I'd be like, no, <laughs> never. <laughs> I'm too spoiled, I'm too used to Light being by my side. So that would be devastating. So no, I need Light in my life, and uh, that's the gist of it. Without Light, forget it. <laughs> I would not feel as good as I do. You know, you, you can't describe the feeling you have, the good feeling that um, organization who works so hard to raise money for employment programs is by your side helping you. Like, you, I can't explain the comfort and the love I feel from having that. Really, it's, it's hard to put into words. Just a uh, uh, sort of wrap up. Uh, is there anything you want to promote, like any upcoming events or like any anything you would like to share? Mm, let's see. Well, Youth Group Catering is available to do lunches and dinners during the week. So if you do have a, a small community event or meeting coming up, consider hiring Youth Crew. You can give us a shout at 204-801-6740 and arrange your catering order with us. We do vegan vegetarian, gluten-free, paleo diets, keto diets, any kind of diet you have, we can do it. And uh, we specialize in special items for folks. So give us a shout if uh, you're looking for some catering. And uh, if people want to like learn more about Spence Neighborhood Association and Youth Group, where would they go? Mm -hmm. They can go to our website at www spentneighborhood.org and check us out there. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much.